Well, I want to take a second and update you on the latest thinking for Wednesday. There are certain parts of this that won't be decided until tomorrow. In other words, how much of an impact will cloud cover and early day rainfall have on the severe weather threat later in the day? The longer we can hold on to clouds, keep away sunshine, and keep rain going in the afternoon, that will limit somewhat the volatility in the atmosphere. So here's some headlines. Severe potential, you've heard about that. Heavy rainfall, a good two inch rainfall with some isolated amounts more than that. And it's all part of a big temperature transition. Here's some of the rainfall potential. You can see two and a half up there in Fort Wayne. And you know how this works. With one thunderstorm in an hour's period of time, you could pick up an inch. So this is just a general idea of how water loaded the atmosphere is. There's your widespread severe risk area. This will be updated first thing in the morning. We'll have the latest thinking on timing in that. I want to show you though, the main threat appears to be damaging wind with a low threat or isolated threat of a tornado or hail associated with this. Nine o'clock in the morning, the model's a little slower at bringing the first round of thunderstorms in. By 11, still hanging in northern Indiana. There we go. Between one and two, Terre Haute to Lafayette to Peru, into the metro area as we get to around three o'clock. Now, if we hold on to that longer in the cloud cover without any sunshine, that may weaken this line. Although TrueCast has been pretty consistent at keeping it strong, that's where you'd see some damaging wind potentially, certainly heavy rainfall. And then by 9, pushing south of Interstate 70, and then by 11 o'clock, uh, closer to the Ohio River. It's all part of a big transition from summer warmth and humidity to fall-like temperatures that will be on the way, not just Thursday, but into the weekend. We've got some lows in the 40s and highs that will only be in the 60s, like mid-60s as we get to Saturday afternoon. Thanks for watching. We'll keep you updated starting bright and early Wednesday morning.